I am Simon Weir and I play Norris Fletcher. So I'm the boss in this department. Or am I? Hey, I'm Chris Bain and I play Jonathan Clark, Minister of Justice in Scottish sci-fi web series Cops and Monsters. I am Ellen Patterson and I play My Hedges. I am Leona Vaughan um, and I play Alicia Hughes in Cops and Monsters. Hello. I'm Innes Anderson and I play Alexis, the werewolf. Okay, see Norris, you, you've seen Norris go through um, uh, sort of a few different stages. He's been quite officious, he's been, he's, been, he's been the boss, he's kept the team together and he's fought against Mr Clark. But in this episode, he bears his teeth. Uh, and you see a possible promotion, stroke demotion, we don't know yet. But um, he certainly uh, gets to grips with his opponents, so to speak. And this was quite a sort of physical one. Uh, after after we did the um, the Christmas special, so Mr. Clark has come from being a bit of a minor character, quite mysterious. Nobody really knew what he was doing or what he wanted. And now I think in this episode he's gone, you know, came into it a lot more prominently, and he's certainly a bigger character now. And it's it's revealed now that he's put all these you know, chess pieces, um, or other pieces of the puzzle have now come together with this plan he has, um, you know, involving the Pitts agents, really trying to get the spiders to get into control and to run the show, essentially. Well, it has been a um, pretty wild ride for my Hedges, uh, mixing up with these crazy cats in the Pitts office. Uh, she started off not as a Pitts officer, really desperate to get in, sort of full of revenge and uh, angst and then gets into pits and kind of starts realising that things aren't quite what she seems and it comes up to a pinnacle in this last episode where everything she thought she was going for kind of falls apart and um, she's really sort of having to go out on her own and figure out what she wants to do now. So this episode, I um, basically, um, me and Alicia, well not me and Alicia, Alicia, um, she basically goes on a journey from kind of it's actually quite really exciting. So she's basically about to have a baby with Grace. That's like in her like personal life, but in like her working life, um, her and Norris are like kind of like clashing. They kind of it's kind of like the aftermath of what has happened from the previous episode. Um, and it, I just I think like she's she's very very committed to her work and she's very very um, passionate about her work. But at the same time, she's kind of like she, all she's thinking about is is Grace. So. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's a, it's a nice journey. Mm -hmm. uh, this season, Alexis starts off, as when I was introduced, sorry, I'm sounding a bit garbled, I need to slow down. Um, she was kind of, I feel, introduced really gently. She was quite an easy riser into the season. I feel that the first, it was episode three, she was introduced, and it was just a little snippet. You kind of just got to see this kind of dramatic act happen. But then her character started developing more. She was, I feel, feeling strong in herself um, towards the beginning, but then she meets Zoe, her sister, uh, which I think makes her slightly doubt her whole life and her relationship with the cult. Um, and then as it goes on, I feel like her own faith in herself and her whole upbringing is just being tossed out the window. Uh, today, actually, was one of my favourites. I've got a little wrestling scene with my little nemesis, the smallest actor in Britain. And it was good to raise him to the size of a genuine adult human being. Yeah. I've kind of enjoyed, you know, going for a cop out, I've kind of enjoyed the whole show start to finish up. It's, it's interesting to see how it's evolved, you know, when Fraser started doing it, when I started working with him, you know, and it's really grown arms and legs in the way that it's become a lot bigger, a lot more ambitious. We've got some really great actors on board, obviously. No, I'm kidding, but you know, it's, it's been really exciting working with Cops and Monsters, and I like playing the character because he is pretty devious, he's you know, conniving and a bit mischievous, and it's, you know, but I think the whole thing for me, the whole journey has been really exciting and really interesting as well. I guess I'm starting with Red. Uh, okay. Favourite one to film, okay, I'm gonna go with. That's blood. Those are eyes. 
This is... Oh, it's not happening for me. about the show is, well, I get to play a vampire, which is amazing. Um, I'm usually used to playing a wolf, blood, um, yeah, which is really, really cool as well. But, um, but playing a vampire is really, really good. Um, although I've got to like hide away from like light bulbs because obviously like I don't really like, you know, the light or anything. Um, so being a vampire is really, really, really cool. Uh, favourite moment to film? Uh, do you know what? I actually think um, yesterday when we filmed the sort of attack scene um, when Alexis attacks Maya and she had, it was great with this proper like choreographed moment of her grabbing the gun, spinning me round. It was, it was really fun. I've never held a gun and it's been a pretty exciting moment for me, I've, I must say. I uh, was quite jealous though yesterday of the machine guns. I got given a pistol and they got machine guns and thought it was kind of favouritism, but you know, I'll let it go. Norris, Cult, Clark, Shag, Marry, Kill. Is that it? Okay. Um, I think I would have to kill Clark because he is so annoying. And like the sandwiches and his, yeah, I just, no, I, I couldn't be dealing with that. Um, do I have to choose one to marry? Yeah. I would marry the cult, obviously. Well, he's like my father in this, that's pretty weird. Is that weird? Yes. Yeah. Um, I guess that means I would shag Norris. And if you've seen Train Spotting too, you'll know why. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd probably kiss them all. I'd marry Hedges. And I'd probably just sort of have sort of really violent sex with Clark. To have an affair with. Uh, probably Norris Fletcher. You know, the two of they're always coming head to head a lot. But I think there's just a lot of a lot of sexual tension. Bit of a you know, sometimes when they're together, there's there's an elephant in the room. You know. Um, and I, I don't know, sometimes I just wish that they would just get down to it, you know, in the words of PJ and Duncan, let's get ready to rumble. I would like to her to um, possibly chill out a bit. She is very sort of on the edge all the time. I feel sorry for her. She needs like a cup of tea. Um, so, you know, I'd like to see her sort of come more into her own and like rather than basing everything on this idea of her parents, kind of start to realise what she actually thinks. And we'd see her sort of develop loads then, which I think may happen. Ooh, okay, so in the next season, um, I'd like to see her and Grace get married. Um, I'd like them to have a healthy a healthy child. I hope like, everything goes well with the, the birth. Um, and yeah, I'd like to see her like, score a perfect 10, really, because I think like she's an amazing girl. I think she's a great girl to be and to play. So yeah, I think, and to have like lots of fun and keep, and maybe kill Norris, maybe. We'll see. I would like to see her try, but possibly struggle, to find the good within her and find how she could actually do some good for humanity um, rather than just commit mass murder. I want to get back out in the field, uh, weapon play. I don't know, do you know what? It's, it's good because I, I like the, the, the fact that Norris um, obviously changes appearance and gets younger every time he appears. Today I have a, a, a white beard just to give him a little bit of gravitas um, but um, no I, I kind of like the office based scenes because it does set up the episodes you know and it lets the young ones out and have fun and chase werewolves and vampires where I kind of just deal with everything from back here and it's much easier for me as well so yeah yeah I've, I've enjoyed these ones message for the fans is thank you for supporting us you know I enjoy doing this type of work um, I know the guys do I know Fraser and everyone the cast and crew really enjoy making the series and I think it's gone from strength to strength you know you watch the first episode to, to this one it's really just, it's got great, you know, it's really, really interesting, it's fun. Um, it's different as well, you know, there's not really this type of um, series in Scotland, you know, there isn't much sci-fi in Scotland. And 
what they're trying to do is really important, and especially if everyone's kickstarting, uh, sorry, supporting uh, via Kickstarter, which is very important as well. So please continue to contribute in the future, and I just really hope you enjoy this episode and the whole series. And uh, yeah, hopefully, see you guys in season two. Uh, please keep watching, and if you have uh, been helping out with crowdfunding, please continue because it's been absolutely amazing, and especially any of the sort of fan art and stuff like that's been brilliant. So thank you so much. Can't wait to see what you do next. Um, I just say thank you so much for crowdfunding and pledging your money because um, Cops and Monsters is like crowdfunded based. So thank you very much um, for any donations and money that you gave. Um, and yeah, thank you for being fans of the show and, and watching. Keep watching and keep following Instagram, Twitter, social media. Um, and I hope you enjoy this, new, this next episode. I want to have violent sex with Clark. Hope you enjoy this one. Um, it's really funny, it's the end of the, everyone's all sad, I'm not because I'm delighted it's over, but everyone's all sad because it's finished. Um, so help us make another series if you want to see more of it. It's good fun, uh, cast a great, we've got more, more excellent actors to join us once we get rid of this amateur cast we've got at the moment. Um, hopefully they'll keep me on because I've got my own uniform, which is always a big, big one uh, actually in, you know, in retaining a part. Get your own uniform, that's my best advice to young actors obviously not watching this. Uh, to the fans at home, please give us money and uh, product placement, etc. as well, and, and look forward to the next episodes and tell all your friends and all these Instagrammy people and Twittery tweets and Facebookies. Thanks. Final message for the fans. Um, yeah, thank you so much for supporting this whole first season. It's been amazing to shoot and it's really cool to have all this stuff done to you. Trust me, it's really cool. Um, keep, keep up with it and keep looking for the new stuff that we're going to be putting out and thank you for being awesome. <laughs>